Hi guys, Kyung here, and it's Friday, so it's time for another page by page project. Um, so we're doing page four, five, one, two, three, four, and today is five. And um, Terry chose a floating pocket, so that's what we're going to do. Um, and then I've decided that for next week, let's do notebook. Okay, so any kind of notebook, small notebook, big notebook, multiple notebooks, um, whatever you want to do, a notebook. Um, so that's for next week's challenge. So this week we're going to do a floating pocket and I decided, you know, there's only so many pages that come in that, um, in those Stamperia pads. So I thought let's just use out of this heirloom stack, it's a uh, die cuts with a view. And I learned about this from Miss Paint a Lot, and it's amazing. It's really affordable, and it's just a ton of paper. And a bunch of different styles, too. So let's just flip through, and I figure the first one we land on that's kind of uh, steampunky, that's the one we'll use. I don't know about this one, though. It's kind of rainbowy. Hmm? I like that. There's keys. We did the keys before. Let's do the letters. I don't know if we've done the letters, but that's what we're going to do. Let's throw this on the floor for right now. <laughs> it's a heavy thing. Okay, so yeah. Uh, let's just cover this really quick. And then for the pocket, I decided... Um, well, I think we're going to do a magnet... So let's put the magnet on first <laughs> before we um, start. Oh, come on. Don't do that. These magnets are pretty strong, especially when they're all bunched together like this. <laughs> so I just need one for right now. And we're going to use double-sided tape because that's the easiest to me. And I think, yeah, we'll just put it in the middle. And that's that will be easy, simple, fine, not complicated. So I was noticing that <laughs> I call art glitter glue Aileen's glue a lot. Like, a lot. I do that a lot. And... Um, it's all confusing, and my sister was kind of laughing about it, and she was like, why do you always do that? And we were talking about it, and I think we came to the conclusion that my sister, we have a, our youngest sister, so there's three of us girls, and the youngest, her name is Aileen. Like, that's her name. <laughs> so I think that it just sticks in my head, you know? Like, for some reason, it's some, some co subconscious thing, and it's, I don't know, Aileen. So I was just Aileen's glue. Because, you know, there is a glue. And I used it for a long time um, when I first started. I don't ever, really hardly ever use it anymore. It's just not a glue that I use. Okay, we're going to cut this down two sides. I think that's why. I think it's because I spent my whole life saying, you know, Aileen, Aileen, Aileen. <laughs> and so now it's, uh, and then I used Aileen's glue for so long, Aileen's tacky glue, but I hardly ever use it anymore. I mean, I have a bottle here that I've put some in. And I kind of watered it down a little bit, just a little tiny bit. I use it sometimes, but I really kind of don't use it anymore. Uh, I'm not going to ink it. I think it looks fine clean. Clean on there. Let's use my Fabri-Tac since I am out. I'm out of art glitter glue. <laughs> and I called it the right thing this time. So I was watching Julie <laughs> over at Chame Julia Chame Camellia Crafts, 
and I'll have her link down in my description, but she's so funny. I watch all her videos. And she, uh, in her latest video, was talking about, you know, we always pronounce, because she's in the UK, and I'm as American as they come, you know. <laughs> but uh, most of the people I watch are in the UK. And, um, but I had noticed, you know, that, you know, we pronounce names differently, right? Names are pronounced l differently, right? So, you know, and, I mean, most of them are pretty the same, right? Pretty much the same with exception to like some, maybe some accent or whatever, but some are really different, right? Like my name is pronounced Kayung a lot in the UK and, um, here it's Kiyang. So, you know, even if you download Siri or something. But anyway, I digress. Sorry. Uh, this is a lumberjack. Sorry, I will tell you what I'm doing. This <laughs> is a lumberjack book. This is the book I used to pull illustrations from for the lumberjack journal I did. So I got it off of eBay. So it has writing in it. Um, it was a gift for someone or something. Uh, but yeah, Lumberjacks by Donald McKay. And it's wonderful. It has so many wonderful images. And some of them are really, would be really good for the steampunk thing. Because some of them have like contraptions, there's trains, you know, because they would have to haul the lumber. So, maps, aren't those great? And most of it's Canada because it's, you know, the history of lumberjacks. And I think most of that stuff kind of started in Canada. Oh, I love this. Oh, look. It's like a... Some kind of poem or something. Oh, yeah. See, look. There's this thing. That would look cool. Oh, let's use this one. Yeah, we'll pull these two pages. Um... In case we need more, you know, we can pull from that second page. It's from me ripping pages out of this book. <laughs> okay, there we go. One. Oh, come on. What was I saying? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. So, yes, Julie over at Community Craft, she was talking about how we pronounced... Tara. <laughs> and we pronounce it Tara. Right? Tara. They pronounce it, I think, Tara. I don't know. Um, but yes, and I have a girlfriend who, her name is Tara. <laughs> and she pronounces it Tara as well. Uh, it's funny. But um, Carrie. She was wondering about Carrie. <laughs> and that's how we pronounce it. Carrie. Carrie. Um, Carrie. So, and I think it's pretty similar I feel like maybe not so I grabbed these black cardstocks and they came out of a, like a recollections card making kit or something uh, and that's that uh, scrapbooking uh, friend lady Debbie gave me these so uh, we're gonna use those and I think that they'll make perfect they'll make perfect floating pockets right so we'll just trim some off of the side, off of the front, right? Like that. Yeah, and then some here. So yes, Carrie. Carrie. I had a friend, Carrie, who lived on the block from me growing up. Uh, she lived on the very corner of the street, and I used to go over there all the time and play. And she had a best friend that lived right across the street from her, and his name was Hunter. And I remember it was Carrie and Hunter. And everyone used to give them a hard time when we were kids, you know. Because they were, you know, it was a boy and it was a girl, and they were friends. And they were just friends, you know. We were kids, and they were really good friends. Um, but everyone always gave him a hard time, you know. Oh, you guys like each other. Well, you know, kids. <laughs> but I remember, yeah, she was my friend, and I remember she would talk to me about how that really, like, upset her. Like, it really did upset her, the teasing that, like... Because they did care about each other, you know, and they did love each other in a sense, but 
Not in that way, you know. And But kids will tease about anything. <laughs> yeah, and I think we were like, I don't know. We were pretty young. 10, 11 years old. So prime age. Oh, I put this on. I was going to put that on the top. That's okay. Um, you know what we'll do is we'll put some scrap behind it. Because I don't... Because it, it will catch. This is what happens when you talk. And that will look really nice anyway. Sometimes accidents happen for reasons. That's what I think. We'll just trim this. And then we'll glue it behind. And we'll have a pretty lacy edge decoration on our pocket. Which is really cool anyway, because I was just going to glue a strip of fabric over the, um, just over this part. All right, I was going to do the trim up, the t up at the top, and then I was going to do, um, yeah, like fabric, and then fabric where I did the trim, where I cut it. But that's okay, we'll do this and then I'll put some fabric behind on the top. And that'll look cool. So yeah, like that. I think that's good. I suppose I should have... You know, think, think, think before you do things. I just jump into these things. I don't even think, look, there goes my, oh goodness, it's okay, we can fix this, we can fix this, I don't want to glue it on the brown part, I might have to cut another piece of paper, <laughs> this is a weird, I think it's like a linen paper, so it's got a texture on it, you know, there we go, we got it, we got it. We fixed it. We salvaged it. Okay, we want to put the glue on the back of here, not on the brown part. That's what I say. And I'm going to use the Cosmic Shimmer instead of the Fabri-Tac. Because fabri, fabri gloops so much. It gloops. And then what can you do? When your glue is glooping all over the place. <laughs> Oh my goodness. No, yeah, I thought it was interesting that we like, I don't know, different places pronounce names differently. And some people get offended, you know, it's I pronounce my name like this. Um, I have an interesting name. I have a weird name, so I don't care. Do you know, I'm always flattered that people are willing to use it because <laughs> it is a weird, different, difficult name. And so if I'm in the store, you know, and someone sees my name, like, you know, if I get a deed or like something, you know, if I go to a liquor store or whatever, and they know my name or I go to the bank or something, I, I'm very flattered if they, they're like, oh, thank you, you know, Kyung or whatever. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> you use my name, even if they pronounce it wrong. I don't care. I'm like, I feel happy that they used it. Okay. Fabric. I think a little fabric. My husband's name, you know, his name is Matthew, and he, uh, I think this red is perfect. He, um, right, it's such a common name, right? Everybody uses him, his name. You know, Matt, Matt, Matt. <laughs> I'm kind of the only one that really calls him Matthew. Everyone else calls him Matt. <laughs> I don't care if people call him Matthew, but, um, everyone just calls him Matt, That's, but I've always called, called him Matthew since I met him, since I knew him, S since I first met him. He's always been Matthew to me. Doom, doom. Okay, so we want to cut it. Right here. Okay. Be careful pulling out your threads. You can shorten your fabric. I've done that before. 
Yes, okay, let's glue this on there. And then we'll pick out some images to put on there. Uh, I think that main big one will go on the bottom pocket. And then maybe we'll pull from uh, the other pages to go on the back, like behind the pocket, yeah? before we glue. Doom, doom, doom. I don't know about that red and the brown, right? Whatever. We'll see. We will see. It'll be what it'll be. It's kind of nice to have some color, though. It'll probably look fine, especially once it's stitched and everything. So I want to put this on this. Okay, this can come right here. Yeah, I want this writing, and I would rather cut this off, right? Okay. Ooh, this blade. <laughs> you know what's funny is that I bet I have one. <laughs> I think I have one. Like a spare blade for this cutter. I just need to find it. Just need to stop being lazy and look around in my millions of places that I put things. <laughs> and hope that I find it. Okay, it does need trimmed a little bit. What is that little thing? Some kind of little... Looks like a gnat or... Some night... It is late at night. And it's so hot. I've had the, uh, the window and the door open. The windows and the door open all day. Because uh, it was kind of... Threatening to rain, which I'll say I'm so happy about because, you know, the fires are not, it's not good. And um, so it started getting really windy and I was like worried about that, you know. But then it rained a little bit and I thought, oh, good, I hope, I hope they're getting it up there. You know, I hope they're getting some rain. I don't know. I haven't looked today to see. I've been all on uh, YouTube <laughs> today. Uh, I did work on the Christmas kit a little bit, so I'm excited about that. So I think we're hoping to get it done by the 7th, but I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm, I make no promises on such things, but I'm going to try my hardest. I'm going to try my hardest. I mean, I'm, I'm going to make sure I have fun and everything. I'm not, um, you know, my biggest thing is as long as you have fun, you're good. That's the whole point. Yes. Is to have fun. I don't really don't know about this. I hate it. I can't stand it. Don't like it. It's going away. I'm going to do something else. Probably brown. I have brown. I have some browns. I have this brown. How would that look? I don't know. About this. I kind of like that. It's like the white and the brown. I feel like that kind of matches. Oh, uh, let's do that, shall we? I think that's kind of... I might have some others in here. I do have the trains. But it kind of doesn't go. I'm dying to use that, though. Oh, I have this weird, like, velvety stuff. I don't like it. I rarely use it. I have these. Um... No, I have... 
some of this, but again, it's red. It's better red than the last red, but I don't think so still. Yeah, I think I'll just try for that brown. We'll see how it works. I might like leave it and do nothing with it. I could always do the same thing that we did down here. What do I do with my, oh, here it is. I think that's our best option. Decide what we're gonna do and then put our back on. Cause depending on the room, yeah, see, you're not even going to see very much of of any of this up here. Don't you think that's much better? Yeah, I'm much happier with that than that, what we had going on. <laughs> cool. Cool. Let's glue this down. We'll have to remember to put a magnet on the back of this pocket so it sticks. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. I have a cool idea. Okay, so what if... Okay. Um, what to do about this? I do like this. Shall we just cut a piece of it? Let's just see. I kind of like it. It's interesting. What else? There was something else, but I can't remember. I'm making shortbread cookies, homemade shortbread cookies. I, um, with some like really good butter. <laughs> we got some really good Irish butter, like Irish cream butter or whatever. And, uh, I'm going to make some shortbread cookies because I love shortbread cookies. And they're so expensive at the store. They are so expensive. And then when I learned how to make them, I, th oh, I was like, man, these are like the most basic, easy cookies. They're super, either like four ingredients. And um, really the trick I think is the butter. And so I got a really good butter. And um, I tried the recipe before, but I only, I had like just regular butter. This time I'm gonna use really good butter. And I bet they're, I'm super excited. Right now they're in the fridge chilling. And when I'm done with this, I'm going to go pop them in the oven. And then I'll probably make some coffee and sit out in the, sit outside and watch my, uh, watch my YouTube <laughs> with my coffee and my cookies. It's a thing that I love to do. It's kind of, I, uh, I got into doing that with, um, by watching Miss Paint a Lot's lives because she does a live every Saturday and Sunday, and they're such great fun. And so I'll, I, uh, I love to make. Well, everyone always talks about coffee, and um, cakes and cookies and all kinds of amazing things. So it gets me hungry. So I started the habit of making a coffee and getting a sweet ready, even if I like. The night before, I'll go and get a donut for the next morning just for, so I can sit with my sweet and my coffee. <laughs> okay, we're going to sew just down the edge. Yep, just a straight stitch. Or should we do, let's do zigzag. Let's do a zigzag. Hold my thread so it doesn't bunch at the bottom because I forget to do that all the time. There we go. 
one side stitch. Now we just need to stitch the other side and then we'll put a magnet on the back of it and we'll be done. That will be it for this, for this page. Well, I messed all that up. <laughs> That's okay. It still looks okay. Certainly not going to take the stitching out and redo it, but it's fine. It's crooked and not where I wanted it, but it's okay. Our pocket will go in there great. Now we just need to put the magnet on the back of it. So we need to make sure that it's the right side of the magnet. All right, there we go. And then it'll go here. So what I like to do, this is how I like to do it. I like to take a piece of double-sided tape, right? And I like to, let me see, okay, stick it to the magnet like this and then let it sit. There you go. So you can easily just, right, and have it not stick to your fingers. <laughs> then I can place this exactly where I want it. I think Miss P, Miss Paint a lot, she does it very similar. I'll just put it down. I should just pick it right up. Yeah, she does it similar. But I did a little bit different. Okay. And then we just we need to put something on there to keep it from we could put mm, I was gonna say we could put some journaling space, but the problem with that is the magnet makes it hard to write. from here. Just cut this whole part off. Be gone with you. Uh, doo -doo. I mean, do we want to cover the whole thing? I mean, I suppose might as well. Whatever. Whatever. We'll just cut it real quick. And then glue it on there. Yes, I'm excited for my shortbread cookies. Um, I've been trying to bake more. Um, I've made some cakes, but I want to get more into like pastries, you know. Um, I'm not the best making pastries. We live at such high altitude too, so that makes baking um, a little different. You have to adjust everything and um, adjust your temperatures and I'm pretty sure um, there's like a simple mathematical, right? You like add an extra two tablespoons of all your dry ingredients or something like that. Did I take the tape off of that? I hope I did. Did I? I feel like I didn't. I did. Okay, cool. We're okay. We're okay. I didn't ink that but it's okay because it's the back I don't care it just and so bo bing it just sits right there with a magnet or it's a real floating pocket and that it floats magically on nothing well on a magnet of course <laughs> but that is our page we could ink the around I suppose we could decorate the page a little bit. I don't know. It's um, it's a little plain, isn't it? Our letter page back there. I think it's okay, though. I mean, sometimes it's nice to have... We could put something here. I honestly don't know what. I... Well... I found these. These are kind of like... Right, these are kind of, uh, I thought they were a little steampunky, right? They came out of another stamp period pad. 
I like, what if we put this one there and we put this one like this, right? And then if this sat like that, it kind of looks like they're peeking out. I think that's fine. And then that will be good. And then it doesn't look so plain. We got to put something on there. Something on it. I mean, I have gears. I don't really have any charms or anything like that that's kind of steampunky. I should start to, like, collect that stuff. This was kind of done on a whim, deciding, like, oh, I'll order this cute steampunky pad because I loved it, you know. The Stamperia, what is it, Voyages and something. See, this might be a Tim Holtz or something. It looks like a Tim Holtz, doesn't it? I might have printed it. It might be Graphics Fairy. I bet it's Graphics Fairy. Looking at the quality of the print. Looks like it was printed on my eco printer. <laughs> you can always tell when it's an eco printer because they're always like... Just the quality is like tiny little dots. I don't know if you can see. Eh, kind of not... Kind of not. We have that. We could stick some stamps on there. I know, I just, this is how I do, right? I'm like, let's stick everything on it. Well, it has to be fancy, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have some stamps. Let's just um, dig into these. Let's see, what do we have? We have a Cuba stamp. We have this one of the Queen. What is this one? Bell. Bell. That's a train. That's really cool. We'll use that one for sure. Some guy. Oh, this is kind of cool. That's more sci-fi though, isn't it? Uh, there's those. I have a lot of stamps. Is this another? That's another train. Oh, look at this one. I love this one with the beaver. Nigeria. That's cool with the cows. Here's like an old kind of red one. It doesn't really match though, does it? I don't know why I keep trying to put red on this page. Like it really doesn't want it. This guy is kind of cool. He's a maybe. I have... I think a multiple of him. This one is cool too. I don't know what it is though. It might be Russian or something. We'll put that on there. Yeah. What is this red one? <laughs> like I mean, I'm not going to put a red one on it. But it's very cool. 1624 or 1924. One side says 16, one side says 19. Maybe it's a commemorative stamp of some kind. Oh, I'd like to, yeah, put one more. Italian. My love stamps. Let's see, what are these? Let's see, we have a tiger. Here's this one. Okay. This one is cool. <laughs> Thailand. That one is really cool. That's kind of steampunky looking. Looks a little, I don't know, post-apocalyptic or what is the word? <sighs> Not post-apocalyptic. What's the word? I can't think of the word. Industrial? Looks very industrial. That looks very kind of Roman or Greek. Dancers, Australia. Um, hmm. You know, I don't know. Let's do this one. Yeah, let's do this one. All right. And then that'll be it. 
<laughs> I love, I love. It's very cool. It's just like a little bit of smattering of some, of some things on the page. You know, sometimes you don't have to be too fancy. Just stick it on there. It's just as fancy. It's just because the, the star of the show, right, is the pocket, right? And then um, in terms of what we're going to put in there, well, we're going to put in journaling space because that's what I've been doing with this whole journal. So we'll use, let's see, I don't really have, all that Amazon paper I have left is pretty dark. Here's one. This is from that Amazon paper. We'll just use it. We'll cut it in half. And... We'll just do this. We'll use the lighter part. Or should we use the darker part? It kind of matches the brown better. Let's fold this so that it goes in the pocket the way we want. There we go. Might be a little too tall. Are we too tall? I didn't fold it like... I'm not going to try to do that. We're going to use the scissor. We're going to use the cutter, not the scissors. <laughs> and I think this could be folded in a little bit more. Yeah. Now go in there. There we go. So we have journaling space, a floating pocket, and a pretty page. And that's it for this one. Let's see what it looks like with our next to our other pages. Next to our number four page. Ooh, look at that. There it is. So I love it. I hope you like it. Um, I think it came out really cool. So, uh, yes, notebooks for next week. Notebook. So I will see you then. Bye.